All right, folks, so the last video I made on air conditioning was me running the conduit to the spot behind me. So I ran, actually I ran it to the top of the wall. So what I'm gonna do today is pull wire and get wire to this box. And you might be looking and you might going, wait a second, there's wire here. Yes, there is, it's five strand and that's not enough for a heat pump thermostat. So I need to pull seven strand. And one of the mistakes I made on this house is I didn't run conduit to this box and that's turned out to be a big pain in the ass so first things first we're going to get fish tape through but we're going to trim that let me show you what that is we're going to trim this back just a little bit so let me get set up for that and let you guys watch so i don't know if this is going to fit in here or not and there's not a whole lot of space in here so we're just going to try and clean this up a little bit Yeah, the answer to that is no, it's not going to fit, but we're going to make it fit. Alright, so that makes that a little cleaner. It'll let the wire come out of here and then it will wrap around and go back down. Alright, so one of the things I did get right on this is I installed adjustable depth boxes in a lot of places. So that allows me to simply unscrew the box. Now, I'm gonna regret this later. I'm not gonna regret that, but I'm gonna regret the fact that the box has a plate right here and I need to get that down. In fact, I'm gonna go up here and see if I can pull that. I think it's stapled to the wall because I'm OCD about certain things. Yeah, it is. So that's gonna be its own pain in the ass. Anyway, let's get the wire to this point and we'll deal with that later. So the next step here is to pull all the junk out of this. <laughs> to say I tried. So what we're going to do is stuff this down there and this is called a fish tape. And nope, it's not gonna go down this way, it's gotta come up. So we'll go to the other end and do it. So sometimes you can fish in both directions and sometimes you can't. Now, if you're wondering why all this foam is here, that is sound deadening on the bottom of the second floor. I had an extra foam and I wanted this house quiet. Now, if you're working by yourself and you don't, you can always put something at the other end. Let me go see where I'm at. I don't think that's enough. So 
So more than likely that is a piece of foam that's stuck in the pipe somewhere. And So I'm probably pushing it along. If that fails, then I'll go get a steel tape. And a steel tape has a whole lot more rigidity, but I like the nylon tape better. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Let me make sure I'm not on the other end. I don't think I am, because I think... Yeah, I think it's time for a steel tape. So there's a couple reasons that you'll encounter this kind of resistance, and one of them is something inside the pipe. Before I give up, I'm gonna see if I can blow it out with compressed air. This will just take a second to fill up the compressor. All right, so let's see if we can blow it clear. So I'm gonna go look at the other end and see if I've got a prize that has come out. It might have worked. I have a whole lot of dirt up there that wasn't there a couple minutes ago. So,
No, nope, it still feels stuck. So we're gonna go to a steel tape. I'll be right back. Let me get the other tape. All right. So we got the steel tape. And we're just going to fight it through here. So I'm fighting a little bit with the reel, which is on the ground. So I'm going to bring the reel up. I think it's there, so let me go check on it. All right, it's there. All right, so we've got our, our uh, fish tape up here, and now we have a spool of wire that's gonna fight with us the whole time. So the trick to this is to make sure you have a secure connection. All right. And plan on cutting off a, a couple feet of this. So a secure connection in my mind is like this. All right. And then we're going to come back with some electrical tape to keep it from unraveling. The strength of the wire is enough by itself. Um, I do want to see 
if I've got like some travel soap or something that I can add to the mix. All right, let me go get some soap because I, I this is a this condo. It's giving me some grief. I'll be right back. So we're going to use some conditioning shampoo from, uh, who knows, but this will, that'll take the place of wire lube. And I'm going to go pull this back. I'll be right back. So now, I'm just going to start pulling. So I'll let you guys watch from up here because down there, it's not very exciting. You'll get to see that eventually. And in case you're wondering, shampoo, soap, and wire lube all do the same thing. They provide a little bit of lubricity and then they'll dry out later. And as expected, with one person, I'm gonna run into little snags. So you're going to have that happen. It's far better to have it happen out here. 
Let me see where that gets me. Shouldn't need that anymore. I think this is about 35 feet. Getting there. Okay. So clear that last little tangle or hold up. And there we are. So, and we got another little catch. So let me go clear that because I need about 10 feet down here. All right, so. Almost. I need a little bit more. Wash my hands. All right, we are so close. And that's plenty. Okay, so we did use goo as our lubricant, so we wanna wipe this off with a towel. It's just shampoo, so it's not the end of the world. But we still don't want it on our hands if we can avoid it. So next thing we're gonna do is cut this off. And we're gonna cut it twice. That's one. And then right above the tip is the other. And that makes it easier to remove. And then this just goes in the trash. 
which is not really a big deal. I'm not completely sure I'm done with the fish tape, so I'm gonna set it to the side. And next, I've gotta look up here again to determine how I'm gonna get up. So I've got wires along here. That's a nail. So the challenge is, it's really tight in here. And there's a lot going on. So I'm gonna make one more try. <clears throat> no, I cannot pull that wire. I wish I could, because if I could pull the wire, I could pull string through there and pull it back down, but I can't. So. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. I've got to find a way to fish down. Let me see how big this hole is. It should be a half an inch. I need a flashlight, I can't. I need more light up there to see exactly what kind of mess I made. Okay, so I did the unthinkable. So not only did I not run conduit, I put a pipe right on top of the existing holes and I've got electrical running through there. Oh, uh, that was stupid. I never in a million years thought that I would have to do this. So I may have to actually put a hole in the wall right here in order to get to this. And that's, that's not something, let me stop and think about that. So I have no real good options here. Uh, in fact, I'll go so far as to say all of my options suck because I just don't have good access up here for me or tools. But what I think makes the most sense is to see if I can get a drill in here and add a hole. Now, there will absolutely be a board here. And, wow. That is right where I need to be. And there's a nail in here. I wonder. I'm gonna try something. I'll be right back. 
So I happen to have a set of fish sticks, and I'm going to see if I can work the fish sticks up in here. <laughs> wow. That would be a no. Um, I'm going to have to deal with... I'm gonna have to deal with this bracket. And that means that this project is getting more complicated by the second. But it is what it is. So it should be there. Okay, so It just kills me to put holes in the walls in this house where I can see them. But I don't see an option here. I'm gonna see if I can push this wire down through this existing hole. Because if I can, then that gives me the incentive to fish for it with a hook. Well, that's promising. Uh, let me see if I have a hook on here. Yep, no hook. Just fingers crossed I can push it down. Okay, come on. Guess that can go back in there because it's not coming out. 
least I don't think it is. No, it's na it's stapled in. How's that? Why is there electrical tape on new wire? So there appears to be a gap in here. And I'm going to see if I can see any sign of it through this hole. Of course not. All right, let me go see if I can find the hook that goes on these. All right, so I've spent the last I don't know, 45 minutes looking through pictures of building this house and I can't find a spot picture of this spot. Um, I don't think there's anything stupid going on, so I'm gonna keep trying to fish before I give up and put a hole in the wall. You know what, we're gonna put a hole in the wall. I hate to do it. I really, really, really hate to do it, but I don't see any other way to get this done and get this done, we must. So I'm gonna put a hole in the wall and it's something that I deeply regret and hate doing. Let me go find the tool that'll do it. And I'll be back. So if I was gonna do something differently on this house, it would be to take pictures every week or every month of the entire house. It really kills me to take this house apart like this. But now that I have a hole in here, oh, there's a board there. That's interesting. So that's probably what I've been getting caught on for the last umpteen. All right, so now that we have a hole in the wall, we can get to business.
All right, so. Now we might be able to just drop down the wall here. Or not. Nope, not gonna be able to drop down the wall. Let's see how far this goes. Well, it goes quite a ways. So, let's get the stick. So I think we can do that. Let me go find the electrical tape. set this up for a pull. All right, that should be enough to pull it through. All right. There it goes. So now we're all the way through, and I'm gonna cut this down there, and then I'm gonna pull the wire back up through the wall and leave the excess at the top. For some reason I need it, it's there. All right, now, let's see if we can restore this without doing too much damage. So that would need to come through here. And this will mostly go back together. I'm gonna have, I have some sheetrock to do for anybody that doesn't realize that. I have a lot of sheetrock to do and I'm not happy about it because I thought I was done with that seven or eight years ago. Anyway, yeah, 
here we are. So that's gonna get my thermostat down here. I don't think that's gonna be completely right, so I won't be surprised to have to change that box out, but hey, I have a control wire and I can put my thermostat down here in the hallway where it belongs. So I'm gonna clean up. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, remember to subscribe. Uh, click the little bell icon so you find out when I have new videos. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Remember to check out the playlist because that's how I organize my videos.